Okay, so this is, I'm going to ask you a question in a second, Elizabeth, but just touching on that again, Dima, like you were talking about how you personally were attacked just because you were a part of Al Jazeera. Now, everybody here has haters. We all have haters, right? I have haters. We all have haters. How do you deal with that? How, because I, I, mean, I, I know it's oversimplifying. Yeah, no, you know? You, I, I learned, I used to respond, I, when I first started, I used to spend my time responding and being very nice and very polite and they would be like threatening me when I was back in Venezuela as a correspondent. Trolling. It was also like very dangerous to work in that environment and people would, would write on social media, we're going to kidnap your son tomorrow morning when he goes to school if you do not stop tweeting about this. And you, you really think about it and think, what if this person is real? What if they are going to kidnap my son tomorrow morning? And they can. It's Venezuela. You can pay somebody $100 and they will kill somebody for you. So I'm sure it's, it costs less to kidnap someone. So, uh, yeah, you, should I respond or should I not respond? And I'm sure all the women here know that attacking women is different to attacking men. So they, yeah. I'm sure you've all been through it and you will continue going through it because they will attack your honor, your family, your virginity, your husband, your life, your love life, your everything. They will make up so much stuff and they will tell you they have photos and videos and you have no idea who these people are. And I suppose they do this to every person that they want to attack who is female so because do? they know. I just completely ignore them and continue doing exactly what they don't want me to do. Mm. Once you do this once and nothing happens because they're just people online trying to scare you. Then you get the courage to do it over and over again, and then they stop. And somebody else will come, but then they will stop too. And you, you, you just um, see through the hate and look for other things that you want to see. Um, and I don't know, I understand where they're coming from. They're either paid or they really hate me or whatever. I don't have time for them. I continue doing what I need to do. And that's the only thing I can do to combat that. So I them. think that's a very powerful message, right? If we all want to do what we want to do, and we're not going to let anybody stop us. We're not going to hurt other people, and we're not going to let other people hurt us. So I think that's a really strong message, yeah. yeah and one more thing I, I, I've always done is I've never blocked anyone in my life. Never. They, they write all kinds of stuff. Never. I think the moment that you start blocking people, and I respect everybody who has to do it because they can't bear it, is the moment you stop seeing the full picture. And I want to keep seeing the full picture with all its ugliness, with, with all the bad and filthy stuff that's in it. Because when I walk on the street, I see the filth and I see the good stuff. And I need to do that on social media to stay sane and to know exactly how to write my message. So I never block anyone, although they threaten me, they say bad things, they whatever. And if you block them, they will create another account anyway. Absolutely. So you waste your time chasing them. When you don't need to chase them, they will keep chasing you. There's an expression, was it that it's better to have the enemy that you know than the one that's hidden or something along those lines, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. keep your enemies closer. Yeah. So you always want to know what's going on. Yeah.